Overall, test positivity has drastically declined. Good news here when you take a look over the last month, straight down, statewide, it is at 11.5%. Joe Moeller spoke to one doctor who says the decline in cases is due to a number of reasons. Joe is live at testing and vaccination site over at UNLV this evening with what that doctor has to say, Joe. Well, Brian, this site here is open from Sunday through Thursday. I'll give you a live look here at this hour. It's usually a lot busier than this, uh, but there are a steady stream of cars coming through here, people getting tested and vaccinated. While as test positivity declines, medical experts say sites like this need to continue to operate. I want to make sure I'm okay. People getting tested for COVID-19 say the first step in stopping the spread is knowing you have it. Well, I don't want to get anybody else sick and I want to be able to return back to work. The test positivity rate in the state of Nevada is down from 16.3% a month ago to 11.5% Tuesday. I think the number one reason is because we've started to implement those public health measures that were so effective. Dr. Christina Madison from Roseman University says more safety measures and more testing is playing a role in keeping cases down. We're also seeing more people People testing because there are more facilities and more businesses that are requiring testing in order for people to come back to work safely. Madison says more vaccine requirements will continue to make a difference. We saw with the implementation of Allegiant Stadium requiring vaccinations, you saw, you know, 18,000 people cancel their tickets. Tuesday, the state said transmission is still too high in every county and mask wearing needs to continue. Madison hopes we can get back to the 3% test positivity rate we saw in June. And I'm very hopeful um, that we will continue to get those rates down and get back to where we were. Now back out here live, the UNLV Stan Fulton site tonight is getting extra help from state and federally funded surge teams that were put together with FEMA to promote vaccinations here in Southern Nevada. We've seen those teams also go door to door promoting vaccines in the past. Reporting live here at UNLV, Joe Moeller, 8 News Now.